Okay, for our shipment uh, logistics use cases, we're gonna demonstrate two of our main products here. First one we have is the QTS-110 device here, which comes in this form factor. Secondly, we have our QTS-112 device here, which comes in this thin tractor format here. So as part of shipment tracking, our customers are gonna want a lot of information about their shipments. This is the main customer facing portal here. Here, the customer can see a wide variety of information about the device. So this is just the last report time, it's next expected time, as well as for the 110, the temperature, pressure, humidity um, measurements for the device. So what we're gonna do here is simulate a fall detect event. Here we have the QTS 110-1 device attached to a small box here. So say you're in the processing unit and something accidentally happens, it gets knocked over fall on the ground here. So you can see our package got an alert here for 3.07 p.m. with an approximate fall height of 35.8 inches. As part of this page too, the customer can see the location for the device when this happened. So you can see kind of approximate on a map, you can zoom in and on out. And get information that way. So next we would like to demonstrate a temperature breach event. So here we have a simulated cold environment where we just have our devices underneath an ice pack to simulate a cold environment. I will take one out of here. This is tracker QTS 110-4. And I'm going to put it on a hot pad to simulate a, t a change in temperature. I'll just set that there. So here we're reading the temperature. We're getting the readings. We can see our uh, device increased in temperature here. It uh, triggered the breach threshold and we see an alert generated on the portal. We get the time the temperature reading as well as a location generated for this report.